Hi, today we'll start uh, our lecture, Rheumatology, part of rheumatic diseases, idiopathic inflammatory myopathies. Let's discuss about this. Idiopathic uh, inflammatory myopathies, as uh, you see, this uh, um, disease can um, damage the nucleus uh, of uh, nucleus and all structures of muscles, and there are uh, some uh, types of muscles, skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, as you know, and also we have uh, cardiac muscles, and mostly because of idiopathic inflammatory myopathies, damage uh, damaged uh, skeletal muscles and so smooth muscles. Here is um, classification of um, idiopathic inflammatory myositis uh, classified uh, into the seventh group. First group is primary idiopathic polymyositis. Second is primary idiopathic thermatomyositis. You see, they differentiate from each other as poly and thermatomyositis. First is uh, damaging of uh, muscles. Next is muscles and plus derma. Third one is dermatomyositis or polymyositis associated with malignancy. And fourth group is childhood dermatomyositis or polymyositis. Fourth group associated with connective tissue disorders, may associate with the scleroderma, may associate with systemic lupus erythematosus, and etc. And sixth uh, group uh, includes um, inclusion body myositis and uh, Seventh group, and uh, um, we have uh, seventh group includes many types of other myositis, which is not um, in the previous groups. Is miscellaneous myositis, is nephilic myositis, and uh, focal myositis, infectious myositis, and etc. Diagnostic criteria. Mm, uh, most important diagnostic criteria, there are five diagnostic criteria. Its importance uh, we keep from 1975 and now also now in uh, nowadays also actual. Uh, first diagnostic criteria is symmetrical proximal muscle weakness. Second one is biopsy evidence of myositis. It's very important investigation. Biopsy as a gold standard of investigation. Third one, an increased serum skeletal muscle enzymes, because we know whole organs, when they are destroying, they uh, release the enzymes into the blood, and in blood, increased level of, uh, level of enzymes. <clears throat> As here, in um, myositis or polythermatomyositis, also we have increasing of skeletal muscle enzymes, which one we'll discuss further. Uh, Four is characteristic, uh, um, characteristic <coughs> electromyography pattern and typical dermatomyositis rash. If uh, we have a patient dermatomyositis, it means fifth typical dermatomyositis rash and any other two of one from one to four criteria we can put uh, and uh, take evidence to putting diagnosis dermatomyositis. Probable, it, uh, uh, probable diagnosis, probable uh, dermatomyositis, it means when we have typical dermatomyositis rash and any uh, plus any three. To put diagnosis polymyositis, we can get at least four criteria with exclusion of typical dermatomyositis rash. Clinical manifest manifestations, hallmark of muscle weakness. As we mentioned before, muscle, proximal muscle weakness. Skin involvement, intestinal lung, intestinal lung disease can result in interstitial lung um, pneumonia, like pneumonia will be developing. Renal syndrome, inflammatory arthritis, and serum autoantibodies. As other autoimmune disorders, and these disorders also may, uh, may occur uh, detecting of serum, serum antibodies. Clinical symptoms of idiopathic inflammatory myositis, of course, it uh, may slowly progress. 
Uh, we have slowly progressive weakness, which can progress during three to six months. Uh, mostly weakness involve the proximal muscles, uh, and also uh, may uh, progressive losing weight. Uh, or it's uh, also progressive muscle weakness, sometimes mild GS, pain, pain, painful. May uh, may be mm, symmetrical, more correct, symmetrical damaging. Uh, for example, unable to rise uh, from a chair, unable to brush hair, can uh, can associate it with other symptoms like swelling difficulty, dysphonia, diaphragmatic weakness, cardiac symptoms, and also these uh, symptoms uh, may um, may worsen uh, our complications of this disease also. This disease, uh, um, this is annual incidence of two to ten cases uh, per million. Uh, uh, we have two peaks of onset in age of uh, 10 to 15, this teenager's age, and second peak in age of 45 to 55. You have uh, this very active uh, age and can damage the very active age and mostly prevalence, uh, common prevalence uh, 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 for uh, adults, uh, females, females, and relation female and males is two to one. And uh, you see, uh, also we have um, about 10 to 15 percent of all uh, cases uh, may uh, associated with the cancer, with cancer associated myositis. Dermatomyositis, uh, clinically, uh, rash is often the presenting complaint uh, in dermatomyositis. Uh, dermatological find, um, finding includes a heliotrope rash. This, what does it mean, heliotrope? Heliotrope is purple to erythematous rash affecting eyelid, malar region, forehead, and nasolabial folds. Uh, with contrast with systemic lupus erythematosus, you know, in systemic lupus erythematosus, we also have rash, but this rash mm, has a butterfly shape. Uh, next is a uh, rash represented by uh, V signs, this confluent erythematosus rash over the anterior chest and neck. Next is show sign, erythematosus rash over the shoulders and proximal arms. And mechanics hand, we'll see further what, how appear the mechanic hand is cracking and fissuring of the skin of the finger pads. Uh, here is uh, also one character, character sign as cotron purples, purples to erythematous colorage over the knuckles and dorsum of the hand. Also character, very character for dermatomyositis damaging. Here we see figures are different, this cotron signs, and you see here purple rash, heliotrope rash, heliotrope rash, and damaging of CA cheeks, and damaging of face, and also this is V sign, and also here show sign, and also damaging of uh, uh, dorsal, um, proximal, proximal uh, or uh, dorsal finger, finger pads. And here it's very clear, you see mechanic hand, mechanical hand. Here is again damaging of face, all face, which is a face our, uh, region, region of V sign, region of show sign or show signs, region of shoulder, uh, neck, face, uh, which is more, have more contact with the um, sunlight. All these regions were damaged. You see here again V sign rush, and you see again uh, Gotran signs, and etc. Uh, dermatomo dermatological finding um, also can be uh, uh, represented by name for abnormalities as a peringual erythema, cuticular overgrowth, dilated capillary loops and also may involve not only um, skin, can involve the subcutaneous tissue as a calcification. 
here you see uh, in capillaroscopy there are different capillaroscopies picture and uh, uh, first capillary picture this is his normal range and you see here is in systemic scleroderma and here in dermatomyositis in adult and childhood dermatomyositis as other autoimmune disorders this disorder can also may involve the damaging uh, the dam damage may involve the damaged capillaries uh, and decrease the blood supply of peripheral tissues Frequency of dermatologic, dermatological manifestation of um, in uh, dermatomyositis, uh, you see here, first more frequency on the first place, this is Cotron signs and Heletro brush. It's more than half patients, half a patients, they have Heletro signs and Heletro brush and Cotron signs. Other more rare, rare cases, may uh, represented by mechanics ha ha hand or bullets, calcinosis and etc. Uh, how we can investigate and how we can put a, a diagnosis and get evidences? Are uh, you see here in um, mm, CT scan uh, of course, urine analysis, your urine myoglobin level, and of course, as a uh, muscle or skin biopsy, it's very important role. And other tests, of course, as a pulmonary function studies, electrocardiography, it's a fagal manometry, total body CT scan. Why we need this kind of investigation? Because <coughs> we know polymyositis, dermatomyositis. Uh, there are, they have a similarity as a damaging of skeletal muscles and can damage the skeletal muscles, breathing muscles, which can even include the whole muscles which uh, take, part, take part in breathing process. <clears throat> this is why we have weakness of breathing muscles, muscles which take part in breathing process like uh, respiratory muscles. That's why we should uh, check the pulmonary function test uh, um, mostly this is vital capacity, uh, also forced expiratory volume in one second, and uh, total capacity, residual volume, and etc. Uh, uh, the next place is electrocardiography, ECG. It's very also important, and in this disease also may involve the to a pathological process, our heart. As a fragile manometry or barium swallow, uh, with barium swallow as a fragile manometry movement with, by this method we check the movement of the esophagus and uh, um, uh, uh, also maybe any um, kinds of difficulties like um, dysphagia process and etc and total body ct scan ct scan is very important uh, and CT scan and also MRI investigation, they can give us muscle inflammation or atrophy. In normal X-ray, uh, it will be not visible muscle dystrophies, muscle inflammation. Only it will be very uh, clear, visible um, bone and joint damaging. But MRI and CT scan is very important to distinguish the muscle inflammation, atrophy, muscle edema, and etc. And uh, most important in these cases are uh, uh, checking uh, enzymes, as we said before, as creatine kinase, you know three fraction of creatine in normal creatine kinase, we have creatine kinase BB fraction, this brain creatine kinase, increase in brain damaging uh, cases, uh, creatine kinase MB fraction, it may increase in myocardial infarction or any myocardial damaging, and creatine kinase MM fraction, which more character for dermata and polymyositis. Also may increase the LDLS and myoglobin level, and sometimes may increase the LTNST level uh, and lactate dehydrogenase. Uh, myositic specific associated antibodies will increase, which antibodies will discuss further, and sometimes may may also as, uh, may also uh, represented by 
are N positive antinuclear antibodies. But you know, N N antinuclear antibodies more corrective for systemic lupus erythematosus uh, 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 for lupus. But um, uh, it N may also be positive in other uh, anti autoimmune disorders like in scleroderma, in polymyositis, dermatomyositis, also uh, uh, in Chagrin syndrome. Mm, and etc. Electromyography uh, sensitiveness of these tests is very high to 19%, uh, but uh, not much specific. Mm, uh, what we can see, um, what we can find in electromyography, it will it'll be polyphasic motor unit action potentials with short duration and low amplitude. <coughs> Uh, most commonly used myositis antibodies repre represented here, and uh, most common uh, we use anti-JO antibody, anti-GO, anti-SRP, anti-MI2, anti-PM, SKL, anti-U, RNP, and etc. And you see here particular tests of clinical picture. Uh, for example, if your patient has interstitial lung disorders or renal phenomenon or mechanic hand arthritis, mostly for this pa or in this patient you can uh, uh, find out in TGO, in severe necrotizing polymyositis, dermatomyositis, you can see anti-SRP or anti-MI2. Mostly cancer associated dermatomyositis also has, has specific antibodies. And overlap syndrome, overlap syndrome, what does it mean overlap syndrome? When our dermatomyositis or polymyositis are associated with um, other uh, autoimmune disorders, on that uh, cases, you can uh, be careful to uh, find out anti PM SCL antibody. Muscle biopsy uh, till present moment uh, on the first place and we, uh, we uh, um, uh, know as a gold standard and in muscle biopsy of dermatomyositis and polymyositis uh, muscle biopsy pictures is different. In dermato for dermatomyositis muscle biopsy um, um, represented by perivascular and peri fascicular region infiltrated by CD4, uh, CD4 cells uh, and B cells, um, late component uh, of uh, complement uh, like membrane attack complex from C5 to C9 uh, and uh, uh, appears before inflammation infiltrated. Uh, also, it will be seen perivascular myofibril atrophy, endothelial cell hyperplasia of vessels, deposition of immune complexes. When in uh, polymyositis, uh, polymyositis muscle biopsy picture, uh, mostly um, represented by uh, primarily CD8 and plus T cells recognizing an antigen with increased uh, MCS1. Uh, MHC1 expression. Uh, uh, there are some differences between the muscle biopsy of dermatomyositis and polymyositis. Here also represented polymyositis CD8 cell endometrial and dermatomyositis is B cell. Electromyography finding in idiopathic inflammatory myositis. Uh, this uh, uh, we should differentiate uh, electromyographic finding in different kinds of myositis. Uh, here represented uh, represented normal finding and finding in myogenic lesion and neurogenic lesion. Uh, by these methods, we assess. Uh, insertional activity, spontaneous activity of muscles, motor unit of potential, and interference pattern of uh, muscles. And here represented MRI, and 
said before, as I said before, MRI is very important to diagnosis of even muscle edema. And you see here damaging also damaged mostly which part? Proximal part of muscle, proximal part of body muscles. And uh, you see edematic uh, inflamed muscle. Uh, and also it, uh, here uh, you can investigate this muscle by ultrasound. MRI inflammation and uh, this is inflammation of muscles can result in changing uh, can result in fibrosis damaging of muscles inflamed uh, region uh, change into the fibrotic tissue growing and you see as a late stage this muscle atrophy <coughs> uh, of course, we should differentiate from other cases of damaging of our muscles. Other causes of myositis. Other causes of myositis is not maybe not autoimmune. Most or most of cases, uh, this may be because of viral and bacterial causes. This myositis, or maybe um, may this clinical picture like a uh, similar p uh, clinical picture will be in systemic vasculitis or uh, maybe in other endocrine causes such as hypothyroidism or diabetes mellitus or Cushing disease sometimes metabolic disorders and electrolyte abnormalities uh, may also represent it as a uh, polymyositis and also we should uh, at the beginning time we should exclude the myotoxins and mm, inducing by myotoxins, myositis, or alcohol, cocaine, um, and other medication include uh, me medication uh, caused um, myocarditis. Therapy, how we should treat? Uh, we have three stages of activity or three degrees of activity. First degree of activity, and activities, uh, my dear, depends on um, clinical picture, of course, how many organs includes and also um, uh, depends on C-reactive protein a level and level of uh, ESR, uh, ESR level and also level of um, increasing uh, specific enzymes, aldolase and creatine kinase. First or minimal degree of activity treated of course by glucocorticosteroids. Also, uh, glucocorticosteroids, these drugs are um, uh, first line of therapy of all autoimmune disorders. Of course, because of damaging of uh, muscles, uh, necessarily in combination with calcium and vitamin D, mm -hmm. uh, prednisolone, we use dosages of prednisolone, low dosages from 20 to 30 milligrams per day in three doses for one week then in one dose for at least two months and after achieving remission uh, we should decrease decrease in 1.25 milligrams one four tablets at two weeks to a minimum maintains dose, dosages of 10 to 15 maintain dosages is 10 to 15 uh, which our person uh, our um, patient should uh, take at least two years uh, also, we can um, uh, use the hydrochloroquine, uh, 20, uh, 200 milligrams per day. Uh, this is intimidatic drug and symptomatic therapy. If uh, what does it mean symptomatic therapy? Uh, if damage the muscles, if you have, or oh, sorry, if damage uh, the um, cardiac muscle, uh, which can appear by arrhythmia or by hypotension, of course you will treat uh, symptomatic, uh, 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 symptomatic arrhythmia and hypotension. If hypertension of uh, antihypertension drugs, or if uh, damage your kidney, of course you use other uh, drugs for treatment of kidney and etc. A uh, moderate degree of activity, also in this stage, we keep the cort uh, cortico glucocorticosteroids with a combination of calcium and vitamin D drugs. But dosage of uh, prednisolone is high, one milligram per kilogram per day in three, three dosages for th one week, 
what does it mean one milligram it means if your patient for example uh, patient's weight is uh, 60 kilogram you should give to patient 60 uh, milligram uh, per day in three doses just one week then um, uh, in one dose for at least two uh, two th to three months after achieving remission uh, you can uh, start to decrease the dosages one four tablets per week to a minimum maintained dosages and maintained dosages is 15 to 20 milligrams per day at least two years uh, in case of involving of joints um, it'll be better if you use uh, together with the glucocorticoids and then uh, after uh, uh, starting decreasing glucocorticoids dosages you can it'll be better to combine this the methotrexate 7.5 to 15 milligrams per week uh, methotrexate we take once a week uh, uh, with the combination of folic acid mm, and symptomatic therapy a uh, high degree of activity um, of course includes the pulse therapy what does it mean pulse therapy this one gram this is 1000 milligram or one gram methylprednisolone with combination with heparin uh, uh, 10,000 uh, units uh, for three days glucocorticoids of course uh, you should combine with the calcium and vitamin D uh, medicines uh, and then uh, uh, glucocorticoids after pulse therapy you use at least one to two milligrams uh, per kilogram per day in two dosages for at least one month and after remission uh, achieving remission you start to, to decrease one four tablet per week to a minimum maintained dosage and maintained dosage here is 25 to 35 gram milligram per day and also at least two years uh, in case of association with the arthralgias or arthritis, you should combine with a methotrexate, 15 to 25 uh, milligram per week, or as a terprene, ter uh, 100 to 200 milligrams per day. Um, uh, in case of pulmonary fibrosis, uh, fibrosis, uh, fibrosis, you use uh, cyclophosphamide, 2 mg per kilogram per day. Uh, or in case of resistance and um, in case of dermatomyositis, skin lesions, uh, uh, mycophenolate mofetili, 2 g uh, per day. Uh, in, case of, in case of progressive pulmonary fibrosis, you can uh, add to glucocorticoid therapy cyclosporine 25 milligrams to 100 milligrams per day and of course if you have uh, no uh, uh, response to previous therapy uh, and active very aggressive um, uh, active process uh, lately we use the gene engineering biological therapy and um, at the beginning time it was uh, infliximab 3 milligrams per kilogram uh, according to scheme but lately uh, and uh, late guidelines also show us um, guidelines shows us uh, very effectiveness of rituximab 5 milligram per kilogram according to scheme uh, rituximab we use um, once um, no, once a week at the beginning time only four four times uh, and symptomatic therapy uh, here uh, um, uh, here is uh, uh, presented uh, treatment uh, by rituximab uh, it's very um, good drug with good medicine uh, because um, it has anti CD20 um, effect and into um, uh, anti CD20 effect we have uh, by uh, um, by um, inhibition of um, alpha TNA TNF anti tumor necrotic tumor necrotic factor uh, um, inhibition and also we have um, two studies have shown improvement in muscle strength and decreased creatine kinase and um, uh, has a good uh, efficiency um, efficiency uh, efficiency uh, and uh, 
uh, even in very severe uh, cases. Uh, it was all, um, here was uh, in our clinic was one case, a uh, clinical case. She she is female, uh, 40 years old, um, uh, and uh, she came to our clinic with um, complaints as sudden muscle weakness, inability to stand, brush hair, hold spoon, and pain in muscles and extremities. Uh, her face was edematic and especially in paraorbital area. This is real patient, my dears. And painful erythematous rush on, sh on chin, chin uh, hoarseness of voice, and choking, even choking during uh, swallowing, especially when food is liquid, I say, paradoxical, um, paradoxical dysphagia or, or choking. Uh, dyspnea um, in uh, mild exhaustion and even at rest uh, dyspnea and a low grade fever like uh, 37.5 uh, maximum it was a 38 degree and poor appetite and um, uh, you see how grow uh, how was uh, uh, grown the uh, her anemnesis, how was grown your history of your disease. At the beginning time, it was started from fever, and you see from the beginning till uh, uh, till uh, uh, we our investigating see September, October, November, December, January, February. It was grown. It was grown during the half a year, and from the beginning till uh, till uh, investigating time, uh, uh, it was fever. Uh, myasthenia also accompanied myalgia, myalgia and choking. Uh, choking appear uh, in three months after beginning of process, and uh, rash. It was rash. It was dermatomyositis, and also dyspnea. Dyspnea as a um, respiratory muscle weakness and hoarseness. And during physical examination. Uh, 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 her general status is uh, uh, was of moderate severity, and also she has rash of skin, face uh, is swollen, lymphatic nodes uh, was normal, uh, but the joints was intact, muscles painful, uh, and palpation, um, uh, muscle tone is was very weak, and um, a breathing rate it was 24 per minute. Mm, and also uh, heart borders uh, are increased, left border 2 cm distal to midclavicular line, uh, heart tones was uh, dull, a weak systolic murmur on the uh, mm, apex of heart, and uh, it was a regular rhythm, heart rate was 20, 92 per minute, and BP, mm, it was a normal range 110 to 7 mmHg. Uh, after uh, during investigation blood test, it was detected the hemoglobin level 90. It was uh, uh, anemia, and also decreased RBC count and um, mild increasing of white blood cells leukocytosis. And he said it was very high, 52 mm uh, uh, millimeters per hour. Uh, urine test shows us um, uh, mild protein ureas and. Um, very my uh, leukocyte, it was in normal range, no salts, mucus, and no bacteria. Uh, biochemistry test uh, shows us creatine kinase, uh, creatine phosphokinase, very increase. It was uh, um, more than four times increasing, lactate dehydrogenase, and but proteins, it was it's normal, and also albumin globulin ratio, it was also within normal range. Immunological um, test shows us increasing circulating immune complexes, a rheumatic factor also it was 1 to 48, and C-reactive protein it was 3 plus very high. During uh, instrumental investigation, we found sinusrhythm, uh, heart rate was 92, and also um, uh, impairment of repolarization process of anterior lateral wall of ventricles and low voltage of waves. Uh, low voltage, what does it mean low voltage ECG? It means in standard leads we have decreased voltage of R wave less than 5 and in chest leads less than 7 uh, millimeters. 
uh, here, uh, of course, it was less than 5 and less than 7 millimeters in chest lead, low voltage ECG. Just uh, X ray shows intensification of lung pattern. Mm, uh, uh, lung radix, uh, radix is uh, of uh, normal structure and decreased uh, transparency in lower field of lungs and also uh, enlarging of heart shadow. And it was put dermatomyositis, it was put diagnosis after getting evidences, dermatomyositis, idiopathic. Uh, we couldn't uh, detect uh, the real reason or real etiological factors that why idiopathic. Uh, Subacute clinical course, third degree effectivity with involvement of muscles, myasthenia, myalgia, dysphagia, and skin, periorbital edema, erythema, uh, with involvement of heart myocarditis, kidneys nephritis, and aspirational pneumonia. Aspirational pneumonia because of choking. During choking, amount of um, uh, oral cavity and uh, also uh, esophageal region can go into the um, uh, airways and cause aspirational pneumonia. Okay, thank you for your attention, my dears. I hope you will keep touch. And if you have any questions, you can directly. Uh, call to me or send message.